वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इज टेंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट एंड आई एम हेयर एक्सप्लेनिंग द इंडियन एक्सप्रेस हेयर आई विल एक्सप्लेन वाई दिस न्यूज वॉट इज द न्यूज एंड वॉट इज द फ्यूचर प्रॉस्पेक्ट ऑफ द न्यूज एज यू कैन सी द बिग ब्लैक हेडलाइन इज अबाउट द पटना पावर शिफ्ट सो द बिहार गवर्नमेंट वॉज इन अलायंस बिटवीन जनता दल यूनाइटेड एंड भारतीय जनता पार्टी what is going on why there is a news because the nitish government which is jantar dal united is now quitting the alliance so this is a political news and we will see what happens next in the future moving forward this is a news which almost comes in between when there is a big event in our country like republic day independence day many terrorists try to harm our country and they try to plan an attack but obviously our security forces are so tight and so good that they uh, immediately just not just uh, evidence that particular uh, their target but also diffuse it very well so this is a news about one hell from ajamgarh linked to is islamic state planned i day attack which is independence day attack this is from up ats which is anti terrorism squad so this news is about blast that was planned to carry out but obviously our forces did not let that happen so up police have arrested a 25 year old man from ajamgarh adding that he was associated with islamic state group and was planning to carry out a blast during independence day okay he was also planning to target rss members that's like a some different news because obviously they target uh, the country or maybe like not like so uh, rss groups but okay moving forward we can see the ats that is anti terrorism squad has claimed to recover a pistol cartridges and materials used for preparing ied such as pvc wire chinese nails and wire cutters from him okay this was all found but obviously it was all diffused okay here going forward we can see the express network page this blue you can see in shrinagar nia code uapa case supplementary charge sheet filed against pdp leader para 12 others so why is this news this news is about jammu kashmir police a unit which is counter intelligence unit and they filed charges against a person who is a pdp leader and named wahid ur rahman para and he was accused in the case of uapa under various sections i can i will explain you what is uapa unlawful activities prevention act overall this is about if a person do some terror based activities in the society or maybe some activities that are anti social so he was charged under section 120b which is criminal conspiracy 121 waging or attempting to wage war or abetting waging of war against the government of india 121a conspiracy to commit offences punishable by section 121a 124a sedition of ipc sedition you may have uh, heard it so many times because it was so popular in uh, like last 2 3 months and now this person is also accused of sedition going forward to a explained page this is about fbi raid on trump home this is international news but not related to very much of india so we will ignore this because this is an irrelevant news next news is electricity bill promise and problems 
so you have already been heard of a bill that was placed on parliament this was about electricity and i will explain why this is news you know all the people can choose whatever the telecom sector like if you use a internet or maybe a call uh, service you can choose a telecom operator like you want to choose vodafone you want to choose airtel you want to choose jio or bsnl or any uh, telecom operator services but you may have noticed that there is uh, one electricity that comes from the government you cannot choose uh, obviously in uh, like recent prospect electricity is being privatized but you cannot choose whatever electricity operator you want to choose so this bill is about giving customers a choice of multiple power suppliers as is the case with mobile and internet services so i'll explain this new so you have already uh, been uh, cleared that why there is a news then i will explain what is the news this news is about what does the amendment bill propose for consumers the bill cleared by union cabinet last wednesday has proposed to amend section 42 and 14 of the electricity act thus enabling competition in retail distribution of power by offering the customers the option to choose electricity suppliers just like they can choose telephone or internet service providers what does the amendment say amendment say that it will facilitate the use of distribution networks by all licensees under provisions of non discriminatory open access and what does the section 42 tell section 42 will be amended to facilitate non discriminatory open access to distribution network of distribution licensee so these two sections are being amended you can see amendments and government rationale section 8 which is to facilitate development of hydro sector section 14 which is use of distribution networks by all licensees section 26 strengthening national load dispatch center section 60 purchase power and cross subsidy management section 62 fixing of maximum ceiling and minimum tariff section 142 penalty for non compliance with the act so there is a penalty if you just non compliance with the act so as you see, uh, as you have seen a uh, house there was so much drama with it opposition mps were opposi- uh, opposing this bill very much and they were showing placards tearing papers or well, they were not convinced to let this bill pass and why this bill is being opposed this bill is opposed because you can see the arvind kejriwal who is the delhi chief minister and he has tweeted regarding this bill he said this bill is very dangerous and it will benefit a few power distribution companies he tweeted that electricity amendment bill is being brought in lok sabha today this law is very dangerous with this instead of improving the power problem in the country it will become more serious people suffering with increase only few companies will benefit i appeal to the center not to bring this in haste so if the this will passes you can you people who are watching this video you can also determine whether this will help you or not with your own consciousness you can think about this because this is a major issue electricity comes in like everyone's house and this is going on in our country next news is about pesa act so why this is news this news is about aam aadmi party's leader who is uh, Arvind Kejriwal again this news about the person he has declared a 6 point guarantee for tribals in Gujarat 
छोटा उदयपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट इंक्लूडिंग द स्ट्रिक्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ पंचायत एक्सटेंशन टू शेड्यूल एरियाज एक्ट यू नो पंचायत इज लाइक अवर ग्रास रूट डेमोक्रेसी एंड वेरियस इरेगुलरिटीज आर बींग सीन इन दिस डेमोक्रेटिक इंस्टीट्यूशन एलेक्शंस आर नॉट हेल्ड रेगुलरली एंड यू हैव सीन वेमेन एंड जेंडर इशूज इन दिस पंचायत सो अरविंद केजरीवाल हैज लाइक गिवेन स्ट्रिक्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन स्ट्रिक्ट गाइडलाइंस फॉर स्ट्रिक्ट इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ दिस पेसा एक्ट we will see how much this goes on and future prospects are if this uh, act like extension to the schedule areas goes on well it will help our country so much like the democracy will be strengthened from the grassroots to the top and all the person who are included who are in this a democratic institution panchayats will be strengthened to take their own decisions and this will help indian democracy to grow as well next come economy sector hey there is about commercial paper and corporate bond so this is private or uh, private sector some news so this is not very much important next come about international trade uh, piyush goyal who you know is commerce and industry minister he is talking about trade deal with uk you know this trade deal is going on since like 8 to 9 months and it was at a initial stage and this is about an agreement but this is now going on with a faster pace you know there is no till now free trade agreement between india and uk this is interesting but also uh, if this happens if this free trade agreement happens between india and uk this will help a lot like trade sector export will increase a lot in our country going forward what is the news so the commerce ministry uh, minister is saying that negotiations for proposed free trade agreement between india and the uk is progressing at a faster pace and what this agreement is aiming to do it is aiming to boost bilateral trade and investment between the two countries so india has signed a trade pact with uae okay this uh, before this uh, pact is being signed or is being signed in the future india has already have free trade agreements with many countries and institutions with the asean uae it has already signed this free trade agreement so it is saying that it has signed a free trade agreement with uae in record time and now uk is moving uh, uk is now moving faster pace Uh, in such pacts what happens two or more countries significantly reduce or eliminate custom duties on maximum number of goods traded between them what does do they ease norms for promoting trade in goods and investments they have set deadline to conclude to, uh, talks by diwali and uh, also india is negotiating similar pacts with canada european union and israel what do you see the gcc which is the gulf council uh, gulf council Co Co cooperation council that is located in near the persian gulf and eurasian economic union and european free trade association want to negotiate these pacts obviously all of them want to negotiate because this is very helpful as they help to increase the trade of a country so all of the countries want to do and reduce their custom duties there is new whatsapp to roll out 
new features to maintain user privacy. WhatsApp case is going on since like a year from like January 2021. This was going on near January, like 12 or 13 January. This is about WhatsApp having giving more privacy to users. Uh, I will tell you some basic concepts. WhatsApp is giving more like more privacy to European Union customers than Indian customers because European laws are very strict and now India is moving forward to make that laws strict. Many of them you, you can remember that there was a signal law a signal like app which was promoted very much when the WhatsApp controversy occurred. And what WhatsApp is doing now is pretending to give more privacy. We Indians can only assume that it is giving privacy if it does not uh, differentiate the Indian customer and the European Union customer. Else this is just a drama and not giving the whole privacy to the customers. If they really want to give privacy, they have to give equality or maybe equity with the Indian customers and European customers. Why there is like two laws between Indian and European. This is a news that is important. Biden signs bill to boost US chips compete with China. So there is a chip competition. As you know, semiconductors are very useful. They are used in devices, mobiles, tablets, as well as so many devices that work with chips. So he is signing a landmark bill to provide 52 billion in subsidies for semiconductor production and research. Uh, you know, in uh, China is like leading the semiconductor chip manufacturing business. It holds about 70% of the global trade that is between semiconductor chips and US do not want to get dependent on this China. So they are more ever trying to boost their own manufacturing sector. India, as you know, India is also trying to boost this manufacturing hub. There is a plant that is being uh, uh, that is being set up at Gujarat, and Moto uh, Motor Suzuki Motors is also helping in manufacturing of these chips. India also wants to become a manufacturing hub for the chips. So he is saying the future is going to be made in America, and uh, he is saying this. This investment is once in a generation investment. White House said the bill passage was spurring new chip investments. So this is a news. They are passing a bill to make their country a manuf uh, manufacturing hub. India is also trying to do is it's good to not get dependent on any one country like China. And also for your knowledge, I will tell you that Taiwan is a very big manufacturing chip, uh, manuf chip manufacturing hub. It is also manufacturing so many chips. So India is also trying to make manufacturing hub it's in its own country and USA is also trying to make. I will say future prospects are that there will be a reduction in dependence on China as well as on Taiwan both because future is about all about internet devices and using the information technology if india or some other countries are dependent on china it will obviously control and lead this business so every country wants to make their own indigenous chips in order to not just get dependent or uh, maybe not just only on dependence factor, but also to become a self-reliant 
country in terms of chip making. Next page is world news. There is not much news on world. It is one news Lanka to focus on promoting drama and trail to Indian tourists. Obviously, this is to lure the Indians to go to Sri Lanka. Future prospects are maybe some people will go to Sri Lanka, but it's not a number one destination for Indians to go. Also, it's very near, like. 150 kilometers is the distance, minimum distance between India and Sri Lanka, but uh, not that attractive to India. China drills part of a game plan for invasion. It's saying Taiwan. Taiwan is saying that. As you know, US House Speaker, why this is news? Because US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited to Taiwan and China was all doing military drills. Or you can say it said targeted military operation. The language of China was very tough. It was saying it is doing targeted military operations. So Taiwan is say, saying that this drill was an attempt to wreck the long term status quo across the Taiwan state. And Taiwan is saying that this was a clear image of China's geostrategic ambitions beyond Taiwan. Uh, we will see in future what happens. So this news is only about uh, this uh, news is only about uh, Taiwan accusing China that it is uh, trying to it is trying to like act in a way which is very intimidating, or you can say it is trying to distort and destruct and invade uh, Taiwan. But what the future will occur, we will see in the we will see in the coming days or maybe months. Because China is not in such a hurry to invade. It wants to make its military and its economy more strong because currently it is down. Uh, in 2022, it was nearly about three point some uh, three or maybe two point some percent. But the future forecast of 2023 the growth of economy is one point some percent so the growth is obviously falling and china is not in a hurry but it is showing its true colors that it wants maybe to uh, invade taiwan we will see in future what just occurs okay so this was the newspaper and uh, after that, there's a sports news. So I will say this newspaper was short. Main news was about NDA alliance gets breaking down. This was not uh, not a very much uh, of important. I was uh, it was important, but not of it was a political news. So just keep it remember that it happened. More news was about Independence Day. Uh, strike that uh, strike or you may call the bomb blast that was being accused or maybe you can call the bomb blast that was being planned to carry out and uh, this was news about more about in more about international relations and trade that Nitish, uh, Nitish uh, uh, not Nitish that commerce ministry Piyush Goyal was trying to make the free trade agreement with the UK.